Just a quick little video on how to install the HP Rails model 692981-001 and these are the 2U rails which are for some of the 3 par storage shelves that they make. There is one thing I don't have which is a support arm that goes along this spot here. Uh, based on the manual from what I understand it's really only necessary for transportation or for racks that are 29 inches or deeper for the post spacing. When installing the rails, you want to be mindful of which way you put them in. So there's this side here, it's this little metal bracket. That needs to go towards the back of the rack. Also, on the rails, you see these two little screws in the middle. Those need to stay on. Those are the locator screws that help you determine where this goes in the post and hold it in place. The screws you want to use ideally are the original screws and you'll notice they have this little lip here. That little lip basically helps also further oops, locate the rail in a square hole rack. And you'll want these two screws to be in the middle of the two U. My rack's not labeled very nicely. It just has these little hole, round holes along the sides of the square holes to indicate where the middle of a U is. As I drop screws that I'm never going to be able to find again. <laughs> Unfortunately, doing this with tripod in the way makes it a little bit harder. Because I don't have enough hands. So handy. If I can find that screw, nope, it's gone, long gone. So you'll put the screws in the top and the bottom of the rails, and they require a T, a Torx uh, 25. I'm gonna call it T25, but it's Torx 25. And manual says torque them down to 18. No, 19 pounds, but I don't have a torque wrench, so no way for me to know what that is. Generally speaking, I mean, it should be fairly obvious. You don't want to crank it down to the point where you feel the screws starting to rip into the threads. You just want to have it tight enough where it's snug and things aren't moving around. Hopefully my big head's not in the way. <laughs> And when you tighten these down, you want to make sure the two screw heads in the middle are uh, inside of the square holes. And then the screw heads from the top and bottom as well are inside the screw holes. So now we're going to go to the back side. All right, now on the back, you just take the uh, rails, you know, pull them back towards the posts. Make sure they line up accordingly. And same deal, put the screws in top and bottom. Fortunately, once you get the fronts mounted, they're a lot easier to work with. And there's the rails you have mounted. Um, there is no inner rail or outer rail. It's just a, essentially a shelf. So you can just slide your storage array in from the front. There's also this cable management arm and that just kind of goes into the screw holes that are threaded along the back here. I don't believe there's a particular orientation that matters, but if you want to put it about right here, basically, is what feels ideal, feels the most stable. Step around my tripod and get the other side. <laughs> Couldn't see what I was doing. But then yeah, once you tighten those down, I don't have them all the way tight, but that's where your cable mains arm goes. And uh, that's uh, how you install these rails. So hopefully that was helpful and thanks for watching.